Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be all about one of my favorite categories of makeup, period, and that is blush. So I'm actually not wearing any blush right now, just to prove a point. Like look at my face, look at my cheeks. My cheeks look so sad and like they've never experienced happiness. It, they just look so sad and terrible and I need blush, okay? So if you guys are not fans of blush, A, you probably aren't even watching this video, and B, what are you doing? You have to start, please, I'm begging you. You have to start wearing blush. I swear it makes a huge difference and once you start, you cannot stop, okay? So today's video, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite blushes for the summertime to give you that sun-kissed, kind of sun-burnt vibe. That is what I have been wearing nonstop for the past like two months or so and I just love it. I feel like blush just makes you look very alive and youthful and healthy and I wanted to show you guys some of my top favorites. So I recently did a video on a sun-kissed makeup routine with no foundation and I used one of these blushes in that video but I wanted to share a few other favorites because while I do wear that blush from that video all the time, sometimes I wear different ones and I know you guys like a variety of things so I wanna give you different options. So we have cream, powder, um, are those the only forms of blush? basically cream and powder so yeah we have cream and powder formulas in this video and yeah I'm gonna start by applying one of them because I feel like naked without it so today's blush is gonna be this one from Jouer it's their passion blush duo so as you guys can see there are two shades here um, I only use this one I kind of like this as like an eyeshadow or like a blush topper I don't use this alone but this color over here it's called cherish me and I do cherish it I do cherish you. So I'm going to apply this to my cheeks today. And the blush brush I'm using is this one from It Cosmetics. So this is so old and crusty. I feel like I've had this for like eight years and I just love it. It's dirty, but whatever. So I'm just going to dab this across my cheeks. So I also changed how I apply my blush recently. I kind of do it on the apples. And like inward so almost like on the under eye area and then I drag it back and this color I would describe as like a mauve nude it looks a little bit dark and scary in the pan but as you can see it applies really nice and light and is very buildable so I build it up a lot because that's just my style and I always put some on the bridge of my nose to further look sun-kissed. I put on my chin, I put it literally everywhere. All right, so now moving on, we have another pretty similar blush. It's also a blush duo and it is from Cover FX. So these Cover FX blush duos are so popular and for good reason. The formula of these are really, really nice and they offer a matte side and a shimmery side. So the shimmery side is definitely more of like a blush topper or like a highlight. I don't use them that often. I have found the old that I get the less shimmery I like my blush so I like the option to add it separately so this color if you can see it in comparison to the one we just applied it's very similar I would say that the cover effects is more nude toned and also the cover effects is much more pigmented so the formulation of these is really nice but you have to be very careful when you apply them because they are so incredibly pigmented so you just have to be a little bit light-handed with it and you really don't need to build them up at all but I will swatch this on my arm next to it so if you can see this one looks a little bit more nude tone but it's a really great everyday kind of color I use this year-round but I also really like it in the summertime because it does give me that kind of sun-kissed uh, sunburnt vibe if I build it up and make it heavier then I just watched the shimmer side on like the lower half so you guys can see what it looks like with shimmer so you can obviously wear it either way I kind of prefer it without just because I feel like sometimes shimmer will enhance any texture that I have going on here or any dryness and I've been getting really dry in my cheeks recently so um, I kind of prefer not to add the shimmer there but if you are looking for a shimmery, sun-kissed, glowy blush, this next one, I've literally had this since I started my YouTube channel. I think there's a haul somewhere on my channel from probably like 2010 where I bought this and I still have it. I don't care if it's expired or whatever. It performs the same and it is so pretty. So if you have like no pores and no texture or you just love shimmery blushes, this is perfect. And I broke the cap, so don't mind that. But this is from MAC. 
an old school OG favorite, which is Max Margin, and it is the prettiest, prettiest blush ever. I used to really love Max Warm Soul also, but I don't have that anymore. I lost it along the way somewhere, but this is the most beautiful, like, peachy shimmery shade so there it is right there so again kind of the same color family and similar to the shimmery side of the cover effects but it is so pretty and i've been wearing this a lot recently as a highlighter so instead of adding like a straight up highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones i will go in with this and it just creates the perfect perfect highlight because i don't like that beaming white stripe on my face i'm just not into it and yeah the golden sheen and shimmer that's in here just creates the perfect highlight it's almost like a rose gold shade now that i'm looking at it so yeah you can use this as a blush or a highlighter either way it is gorgeous next up we have a drugstore blush and this one is from burt's bees i love all of their blushes um the pink one especially i love for springtime i don't really love like a bright you know, cool toned pink for the summertime just because I feel like it just kind of clashes a little bit with like the other makeup that I wear or like how tan my skin is. But this one is really, really pretty and it's very unique. So this is in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. And honestly, it doesn't look like anything like in the pan. Like it looks light, it looks boring, it looks blah. But honestly, once you put it on your cheeks, that's where the magic happens. So it just has this really nice natural nude color to it. So I think this would be great for every day or for someone who is a little bit scared of wearing blush. This is so natural, but I feel like it just picks up with the natural warmth in your skin and just creates the most beautiful natural looking color. And it does have a little bit of shimmer in there not like shimmer but it will give you a little bit of a sheen and not like a flat matte look next we have two more drugstore blushes and one of these i recently raved about they are both from alme they are their new healthy hue blushes so we have the shade so peachy over here and then this one is called what is it called what is it called i ripped off the name of course I hate when drugstore products do that. They put the name on the plastic wrap and then you don't know what it's called. I wanna say it's called Wildberry, but I will find out. So here they both are. These are so incredibly good. The formulation of these is hands down one of my favorites that I've tried, drugstore or high-end. They're just very buildable and very smooth. They don't accentuate any texture on your skin. Um, so this is the peach one. And if you're looking for a peach color or if you like NARS Orgasm, I think you would like this one. I actually don't have NARS Orgasm in this video. I don't have that blush right now. I gave it away because I just never really wore it. Um, but this one, I feel like if you like colors like that, you would love this one. Plus this is way more affordable. So here it is swatched, as you can see, it's a beautiful peachy color, but more of a peachy pink. So not just like a straight up peach. It has a really nice pinky undertone, which gives you like that nice flushed look, which I love, and it's not too pink. So like I said, I don't always love pink blushes because sometimes I feel like they clash with my skin tone, but this one has just enough amount of pink and peach balance that it looks so pretty. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a coral toned blush, this is it, it looks so good it's affordable and it wears really nicely it's very blendable buildable all of that and then here is the darker one like i said i think it's called wild berry but it's so beautiful i honestly feel like it's the powder version of the glossier storm blush which i used in my sun kissed video it's so pretty it gives you that sunburnt look so if you're looking for that sunburnt vibe this is gonna give it to you it's so pretty that's just one little swipe of it if you want to build it up obviously you can build it up but it's so pretty it has a little bit of a sheen in there but it just gives you that perfect perfect sun-kissed sunburnt look it has a little bit of red in there has a little bit of neutral undertones in there so it's not like straight up red it's so pretty and if you have a tanner skin tone like I do I think this looks so freaking good on you Next up we have a cream blush and this is the one from my sun kissed makeup video. I'm obsessed with this. This is the best cream blush formula that I have ever tried. I've tried so many. This one just wears beautifully. You don't need a lot. It builds really nicely. It sets down nicely. It doesn't like smear all over your face. It doesn't fade throughout the day. It's so good. So this is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm. So I have the orange shade. I believe it's called Dawn. It just isn't flattering on me. If I mix them, it's flattering, um, but I haven't picked up any other colors yet just because I think the other colors that I will like will be better for like the fall or the spring because this one, I just think it's the perfect color. So 
this you don't need a lot at all and I'm gonna try to swatch it without making a huge mess. So there is a Glossier swatched next to the berry one. As you can see, they're similar. This one is a little bit more berry toned to it and this one's just more like, almost like a neutral, a neutral berry. I don't even know if that exists. If you're looking for a cream blush, definitely check out the Glossier formula. Even if you think this shade is too dark for you, definitely check out the other ones. Even though I haven't tried them, I feel like the formulation of these is just hands down the best. Okay, so the next product is actually a color bomb with sunscreen. So this has physical sunscreen in it. It's mineral based and I mean, it's meant to add color and sun protection at the same time. So it's from the brand Color Science. They have a few shades of these, which I also have, but I don't really like them. So this formula is very different. So it comes in this little stick and the stick itself is quite dry. So like when I rub my finger on it, like nothing is really coming off, like it's coming off, but not really. So this you definitely wanna apply to freshly like moisturized skin or like freshly like hydrated skin. Like maybe spray your face with setting spray or something before you apply it just because the formulation is like kind of dry. So this I actually like on like a no makeup makeup day. Like after I put on my sunscreen, I just swipe this over my cheeks and nose and it just looks so pretty. So this is actually pretty shimmery. Um, but it looks really nice for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I wear it when I'm not wearing other makeup But I really like the shimmer in this if you guys can see it here um, This is in the bronze color by the way it just it's very similar to everything else I showed you guys But it's so pretty and it just looks like a very nice healthy flush But you will see it like when the Sun hits you you will see the sparkles in there But it looks really pretty like I don't know how to describe it normally I don't like that but in this product I think it looks really nice. And it, this, even though, like I said, it's dry, it doesn't like break me out. It doesn't like move around. I think that's like the good thing about it um, being the drier texture is that it doesn't like slide and like drip down your face. Like if you're outside working out or just like outside doing whatever, it stays put. The next up we have two more like orangey blushes. So the first one is from Kevin Aquan. And so I ordered this online and I did not know how freaking dinky and small it was <laughs> when I ordered it until I got it in the mail. Like this is so small. Like, do you see like how little this is? I mean, it has, 0.11 ounces. So yeah, this is super tiny, but I really like the formulation of this and the color. So this is the color Mango Fira. And as you can see, like this is a bright, like orangey, reddish, mango-ish color. And it's so pretty. I wish it wasn't so expensive. But yeah, the formulation of this is everything. It's a very buildable, but pigmented, not chalky. It's just really nice. So you can see how bright it is on my hand so i will swatch it over here yeah like how exciting does that look compared to the rest of the lineup like it's so pretty uh i want to actually apply some of this over top so you guys can see how pretty it is like this really is the sun kiss like fresh in from the beach is this color so if you're not into that, you won't like this, but I just, oh, I cannot get enough of sunburn. Okay, so now I do look like a clown. I need to go back in and blend it with some powder. Hold on a second. And when I do that, I just take like a big fluffy brush with either like a translucent powder or like a sheer pressed powder and I just like buff over everything. So it kind of smooths it out and tones it down a little bit. So um, that's that blush, so pretty, right? Like very fun and exciting. And then the next one is this one from Dior. So I also have the pink one from them, but I definitely prefer this shade. So this is the Coral Rosy Glow blush from Dior and it's so cute and I love the color of this. It looks kind of like weird in the pan and like it's gonna be like chalky and like sidewalk chalk, but it's actually really pretty on. So it's pretty sheer, but it is buildable and I don't know, it doesn't really look like anything crazy or fun on my arm, but I promise you it's a really nice color. And you know what, it actually kind of reminds me, not in the pan, but like on the skin, I feel like it looks similar to the Burt's Bees, even though like in the pan, like they both don't look like you would really wanna put them on your face, but when they do go on your skin, I feel like they look really nice. So the Dior is way over here and then the Burt's Bees I think is this one. So it kind of gives you like that same like kind of like peachy natural glow 
and it's super pretty. Some days you don't want this look. Um, you just want something a little bit more toned down. And when I want that, I will go for this Dior blush. So then I have one last blush and this I just got like a few days ago. So I haven't like used it that much, but I do really like it so far. And I mentioned in my last vlog that I purchased a bunch of stuff from black owned brands and I've been waiting for everything to come in. So it's kind of like all slowly trickling in, but this is one of the products I purchased and I am obsessed with it. So it is from the brand, let's see, Beauty Bakery. So this is a brand, I believe they sell this at Ulta right now, but this is their Neapolitan face palette. How freaking cute is this palette? So this bronzer is so good. Like it's the perfect olive tone for me. Also love the highlighter. It's reminiscent of like the Benefit highlighter. It's very blinding. And then over here we have the blush obviously. And this is like a Barbie pink, like a strawberry pink. And it's actually really pretty. And it's bright enough where it looks good with a tan. I feel like some pinks just look a little bit blob. But this one is really bright. But once you swatch it in your arm, you get this really pretty Barbie pink. So here are all 11 blushes. Let me know in the comments which one is your guys' favorites. Or uh, if you own any of these already. Or if you plan on picking any of them up let me know i am just equally obsessed with all of these so if you guys are blush fans like me i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new to blush i also hope you enjoyed this video and found something that you think is going to work for you and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time if you're looking why do i keep saying it if you're looking maybe they're not looking maybe they're just watching this video because they're bored i don't know Maybe they're not in the market. I don't know. So it's going to be all...